Hey guys, Brock Cannon here, founder of Woke Men. I have been so excited to make this video for about a month because my life has been changed by some different natural modalities where you can literally feel high in your body without any stimulants. And before I get into it, I just wanna say I'm not here to judge or accuse anyone that takes stimulants. I did for many, many years, including alcohol, microdosing cannabis, and a shitload of coffee between 20 and 40 ounces per day. So I am in no position to judge, but my life has been forever transformed by several really natural modalities where you can literally, if done right, get that high that will energize you for hours, if not throughout the entire day. So let's get right into it. Number one is cold exposure. Now, what the hell does cold exposure mean? Well, it's very simple. It means exposing yourself to the cold. It means actually putting yourself in the cold so that you can stimulate norepinephrine, otherwise known as adrenaline, which is the body's response to saying, hey, this is uncomfortable, something's happening here. So there's good stress and there's bad stress. And if we do cold exposure in small enough doses, typically between two and three minutes, it can really, really energize us. So one thing I love to do, you guys, is go plunging out of nature. I love to go jump in the cold ocean and take a swim. I love to go to uh, lakes and ponds and rivers and just beautiful places. There's a risk with that. You have to be safe. You have to be smart. But you don't have to go out anywhere. You can start by taking cold showers. And if you're familiar with the Wim Hof method, who I'm currently continuing to study under, he's the master of cold water exposure, and he teaches it better than anyone else in the world. He's the Iceman. So check out Wim Hof, and you know maybe I'll have some links to, to what he does here after this video. But you can start by taking cold showers. Now, you don't have to take the entire shower cold, turn the water hot like you normally do, shave, wash your hair, do all that stuff. But then for the last 30 seconds, just to start, turn the dial all the way to cold and just let your body experience that. It's not going to be comfortable. Your body will adapt though. And the longer you do it, the easier it gets and the longer you'll be able to endure that. So I recommend starting with about 30 seconds for the first week and then build it up to where you're in there a minute, then build it up to two or three minutes eventually. I, what you guys will find is you will walk out of there more energized than if you'd had a really, really good cup of coffee. And the cool thing about it is you'll, you'll actually start to look forward to this because it's just a buzz. It's an energizing feeling that you haven't felt in a long time. And it's it's cold water. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything other than the cost of the water. It's your house. And what's so cool about it is that in the afternoon, when we all start to crash so often, instead of like reach for that other cup of coffee, like I used to do, just take a quick 30 second cold shower. Just get in there, take care of it, and you'll be buzzing for hours. So that's number one, cold exposure. And we'll probably do a whole separate video on cold exposure because it's just so powerful and there's just so many aspects of it. And it's important to know how to do that safely. But you're not gonna get in any danger just starting by taking a 30 second cold shower to begin. Okay, number two, go running. <laughs> now you guys, full confession, I, I am a runner. Uh, you know, I'm not running as much as I used to, but I, I consider myself an ultra runner. You don't have to be that crazy. In fact, ultra running, I've found, and, and, and ultra marathon runners, anyone that runs further than a full marathon, 26.2 miles, that's anything over that's considered an ultra marathon runner. You don't have to do that. In fact, uh, you know, now that I'm running a little bit less than I did last year, I actually find I'm a little more energized and I'm not as strained. But there's a reason why they call it the runner's high. It's because when you're running, you know, and maybe you hate running, you guys, but it, it does energize you. Like, you can't really argue with that. And I'm not saying you have to go do a bunch of races. You don't even need to do 5Ks, 10Ks, or for God's sakes, you don't even need to go run a full marathon. I'm just talking about when you're starting to feel like you're losing energy, put your running shoes on, go run around the block a few times. Maybe you do just a few sprints, 30 second sprints are incredible. And it's just going to get all that good stuff, all those endorphins, 
all those feel good chemicals naturally in your body buzzing. In fact, in the beginning, less is more, build up to it if you want to start to go further, but running for the sake of energizing yourself, huge, you guys, absolutely huge. That's another thing that I do in addition to like the cold showers in the late afternoon or after 5 p.m. after I've been working all day. It's just, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go out for 20, 30 minutes. Just do some running, just stimulate the body. You can go fast, you can go slow, just kind of go however you feel, but it's amazing. Releases so many good chemicals if done properly. So that's number two. And the third one that I'm so excited about, and again, gonna probably need to do a separate video on this, but is breath work. And I will say there are dozens of different kinds of breath work. You know, the ancient Hindus really mastered this. There's all types of breathing techniques. I have studied under the Wim Hof method, which I do every single day and it's changed my life. My anxiety has lessened, my depression has lessened, almost to where it's non-existent. My clarity, my focus, and just my overall well-being and happiness for life has changed significantly through this breath work. So Google Wim Hof breathing techniques and you can learn it. it. There's free, he's got a free app. There's all sorts of stuff, but it will change your life. I had a good friend uh, two weeks ago say he, he tried the breathing. He's never felt higher in his life. And, you know, basically just to give you a very, very quick rundown of how it works, you're gonna lay on the ground do not do this standing, do not do this driving, and do not do this in water because you it's intense and you're putting your body in a state to where if done improperly, you could faint and it could be dangerous. So that's why they say don't do it driving, don't do it in water, and certainly don't do it if you have any health conditions like epilepsy where you're prone to seizures or major heart conditions. But if you're you know, cleared for exercise, you can do this. So you're gonna lay on the floor ideally or get in a comfortable position sitting down and you're gonna breathe fully in deeply for 30 breaths, okay? So. Now, can you breathe in through your mouth? Do you breathe in through your nose? It really doesn't matter, but I, I personally prefer to breathe in through my nose. Um, that's just how I prefer, but you can do whatever. So you're just gonna breathe in fully and then just let it go. Don't try to blow it all out, just, just gently let it go. So fully in and let it go. You're gonna do that for 30 breaths and then after your 30th breath, you're just gonna hold your breath and just hold it. And what you're gonna find, this is called your retention time. What you're gonna find is that you can hold your breath for longer than you normally could because you've just given your body so much oxygen. And you're gonna sit there and you're gonna feel maybe a little lightheaded. You're gonna feel some tingling perhaps in your hands and in your, in your fingers, sometimes in your legs. You might get a little shaky, but it feels so good. And then when you feel the need to breathe again, you're gonna, instead of breathe out, after you've held your breath for maybe a minute, maybe a minute and a half to begin, instead of breathing out, you're gonna breathe fully in again. And you're gonna hold it for about 15 seconds. And you're gonna squeeze it up into your head and you're gonna feel absolutely euphoric. It's the best feeling in the world. And then you're gonna just repeat that three, four, or five times. I recommend starting with four rounds of this breathing. It's unbelievable, you guys. And people sometimes say that they see visions. Sometimes people see, you know, clarity, the exact answers that they've been looking for and the things that they need to do in the breathing. I've had so many just incredible spiritual moments where I finally got back into my body and, you know, connected again with my true self, my true nature. And it's natural, you guys. It's, it's literally getting high on your own supply. And that's the breathing technique that I would highly recommend. It's the Wim Hof breathing method. If you guys have any questions on that, feel free to message me directly. I'm happy to walk you through that. So there you go. Three ways you can get high naturally. Again, let's just review. It's through cold exposure. It's through running and it's through the breathing technique. So Try it, you guys. Even if you just try one of these, it's gonna change your life. I promise you, it's amazing. 
in less than 60 days, I've gotten off of coffee, alcohol, cannabis, and any other stimulants that I used to periodically take. So go give it a try. Stay woke. We'll talk to you guys on the next one.